Okay, guys, this is episode four, part two. You know, I like chess. So yeah. It's heavy. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Double cameras now. A brownie bullseye. No cracks in the case. Oh, look. Is that cool? Oh, my God. These are awesome. Looks like I'm in a camera business now. How much do you think we can get for these? I bet we can get $65 for this one. Probably 50 for the brownie. For this little, uh, we'll call them a pocketbook with leather. Probably 50 bucks for this. What can you do with the trunk? I mean, I can for sure do something with this. They sell really easily in my shop. These cameras are pretty cool, but I'm not going to get my hopes up just yet. Hey, you know something? The pastel's not bad. I'd frame that. Careful, careful. You like these greyhounds racing? Greyhounds racing. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up. I know. Mo I'll and bring those greyhounds. Totally different planet. But I'll hear him for now. This person was really creative. Who knows what else is in here? Oh my gosh! What is it? More art? No! You wouldn't believe this? I'll skip to the commercials. Hardcore, hardcore. So what would they use this for? Technically, this person had a below-the-knee amputation. Really? Mm -hmm. They cut his leg off below the knee, and his finger fit right into here. That's neat, man. Yeah. This truly is an antique piece. History. History. I'm convinced this leg is worth money, but I need an expert to tell me how much. Don't drop his toe. <laughs> okay. That's just weird to me. That's good luck for them. That's, that's good for me, right? I'll leave the auction for one day, and Bubba is the boss of the gonna curse my family till the day I die. That looks like some kind of a pain thing. I found this crazy looking statue in my locker. It looks like a voodoo doll. So I brought Ricky with me to find out what this is and if it's worth anything. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful piece. I wasn't sure, but I thought it might have been African, but I could be totally wrong. We could be in the wrong place. Well, you are definitely in the right place. It is definitely an African piece. Good. It is a protection piece from the Congo. This is a piece that people would use to uh, keep negative forces away. Well, how much do you think that this guy's worth? Well, it's in really good shape. And the features are very well defined on it. Uh, if you find the right collector, you could get twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred bucks. Nailed it. You actually nailed it. That's right. <laughs> Better put some beans on the table. I bought a locker, made tons of money, didn't curse the Smith family name. Hell, I should have by myself more often. It's twelve hundred, but I gotta make sure he don't puncture my seat. Yeah. <laughs> I found this like old contraption thingy and locker. So I looked at this place to get checked out. Do you have any idea what it is? Yes, I believe I do. It is a universal toaster. I'm I mistaken. knew it was a toaster. That's my thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was Valstrap. This was made by Universal. This one, I believe, was made in 1922. Is that considered an antique? Technically, no, but close. I don't want to sound like an idiot, but I'm actually surprised that they had toasters back then. What else do you know about this guy? That's called a swing arm, and the reason is simply because these arms swing out. For the housewife that's right. at home to you actually control, control it. it and uh, make it exactly how her husband wanted it. You don't do that for your husband? No, actually, I'm not married yet, but he probably would want to do his own toast anyway. Yeah. I'm burning. Probably. Does this one work? I have no idea. We might be able to test it here. Yeah. Whoa, I heard a noise. Oh, it's totally getting 
getting hot. Is it getting warm? Yeah. I mean, it works, right? Yeah, yeah it does work. The thing has, like, sparks coming out of it. It's a total death trap. Hopefully, it's worth some money. If this was brand new in the box, mm -hmm. you might get a hundred. Um, I'd probably place it probably twenty twenty five dollars. That's that's a little disappointing. I can't really sell it to somebody as a toaster because it's kind of like dangerous, but I can totally sell it as a decorative piece. It's a good looking bookend. <laughs> Okay, I convinced this leg is worth some money. Let's see what we got. So I brought it to my good friend Matt Lowry. He makes that thing like just lo looks like down. that leather piece that like hanging well, down and the toe, that like that leather piece that's like hanging down. Looks like the legs like the almost hanging, well, it's like hanging the on something, and then the toes oh, were like rings and stuff. It looks like it, their toes process. are hanging like on, on for God's sake, too. About is the foot. What happened after the turn of the century in Rome is they started attaching feet with a bolt. So there's no bolt down here. So that lets us know. This is Civil War era, late 1800s. Could have been a Civil War veteran. There was many, many, many uh, amputees, especially in the South. Really? What kind of value would you put on that? You could easily expect the right crowd. I would even go so far as to say 700. Okay, Mary. Can I give it to you now? Maybe you'll listen to me once <laughs> in a while. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nose, nose, feet. Yes. I know Mary doesn't see it yet, but behind this nose, eyebrows, mustache, glasses, grab the toes. Huh? Lies the mind of a mad genius. <laughs> The big winner in Cedar Hills was Bubba, whose gamble conjured up a $1,200 profit. Mary and Mo got a leg up from their Civil War prosthetic, finishing with $900. Victor Reznansky's giant truck and trailer are going home empty. And Jenny Grumbles is sweating the small stuff after her quest for tchotchkes leaves her 170 bucks in the hole. Are you drunk or high? I'm out of the beer. Did you die? Come on. I'm going to uh, drop that voodoo doll off at your house, okay? At your house. At your house, okay? I got to go, though. So, no, 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 no. When, I, when I get there, just you just take care of that voodoo doll for me, okay? No, 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 no. All right, I'll talk to you later. No, 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 when storage units are abandoned in the great state of Texas, the treasures within that's the prize are put up for auction. Yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah. Coming up. Hey, we're going to Austin. Austin is my turn. Where are you going to buy all these units? We're going to send all these folks on the road. Episode four, part one, I mean two.